great. Thank you so much for spending the time. I really appreciate you jumping on and talking to us today. Yeah, tell us about the company, how long you've been in business and what kind of products you sell. I started in uh, 2012. I was really into like the look of like the cowboy look. I wasn't a real cowboy, you know, and I'm still not a real cowboy. I always liked that look. It looked really cool and like gangster, you could say. I come from like the, not that best neighborhoods and I used to see people like that. I kind of looked up to what it looked like and I always wanted to sell them, you know, because uh, I had some other website and I wanted to mix up the cowboy boots, but it just didn't make sense. So that's when I decided just to do a, you know, uh, a cowboy boot website. And I always thought like, um, what, what could we call it, you know? So what do always people say? What do people always say? Like, they always say, yee-haw, cowboy. I was like, all right, cool. So, <laughs> I, I, oh, I thought you said volume wise. Oh, I got like maybe uh, 4,500 different styles on my website and I only carry my brand here. Yeah. So I, oh yeah, they're manufacturing those in Leon, Mexico. Um, one of my close buddies from uh, this other brand called Los Altos, on their three brothers, they kind of gave me the hand to um, start my own brand. So they, they started manufacturing for me. I seen everybody doing the, you know, influencer um, program, stuff like that. So I was like, I got to get on there, right? So I had to figure out what, who to use. Someone referred me to you guys. I was like, well, I need something so the, you know, the influencer could know how much they're making, like it's legit, you know, professional. Once they sign up, they can see the volume of how many sales it got. And I was like, wow, that's really professional. And that's when um, I came across you guys. And that's when I, uh, you know, I picked you guys up yeah. and it's been doing really, really well. I'm pretty sure you guys seen the return on there. So it's really good. Oh, I totally did it wrong. Uh, I did it way wrong, right? So I was trying to make them sign a contract, kind of like, you know, trying to do it professional, like, oh, in order you know, to, you know, we'll send you a free pair of boots and this and that. We, we said, we'll send you a free pair of boots and, you know, you get a promo code, your, your customer gets a discount. It was all good until I said contract, right? They're like, man, I'm trying to get a contract with you, you know, stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, my first influencer gone, you know? <laughs> that was the first time. And then I was like, well, I don't need a contract. Let's just be, we have to, I have to bring value to the influencer, right? So I have to make it more cool, smooth, for the actual influencer. So I made it real simple. Um, you know, we'll love to send you some boots, you know, and here's a promo code for you to give to your customers, your followers, which is, you know, a certain percent. And then the customer gets a certain percent off. So you get a commission and then your customer also gets, you know, a certain discount, say 10% off and they get 5% off the sale. The commission was pretty good because the boots are, you know, fairly um, pricey. And that's how I did it. And then um, after I got one or two, then, what happened is um, I kept asking people and I, my team kind of grew a little bit. And then after that, when influence started hitting me up and asking me. And started know, approaching you saying, can I join yeah, your program? Uh -huh. Yeah, that, exactly. You know, you've reached success, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, when it's asking you, you're like, yes, I don't have to keep bugging people. Maybe like 25 to 30, but I have noticed that I have got some influencers and I didn't see a lot of return. Um, I can say, I can have, say somebody has say 500, not say like 200,000 followers, right? But it's a little girl with, you know, some nice outfits and looking good, right? Yep. So you send her some boots, um, you know, she posts tags and you send another boots to this other person that has maybe 60,000 followers, but she's into boots. She's into that Western yep. style. Uh, she's into your little niche, right? So you send her boots. I have noticed, even though this person has a lot more followers, um, this person sells more and gives me more return and more attention than even yeah. this person has a lot more. But that's most probably the most important part is knowing the, the people you're, you know, your market in order for them to influence. And that's what's been working for me. I, um, like I said, right now when it got tough, like real tough this couple of times, I'm not gonna send, you know, boots to these people that I didn't see that much return, even though I was getting attention. I'm gonna go give it to the people that, you know, bring a return and getting the attention. I kind of test the waters, for example, if you do good, I keep sending you a pair each month, you know? It's still way cheaper than say AdWords or, you know, Facebook ads, you know what I mean? So it's a lot cheaper because on Facebook or AdWords, you can spend maybe a thousand bucks a day, two thousand bucks a day, right? A pair of boots, you know, it's not that expensive when you get, you know, you get the wholesale price. So. It's way yeah. better sometimes. You just gotta find the right person to market you. And things that didn't work so well, well, contracts. So don't sign contracts. Anything yeah, else, no contract. <laughs> Bring value to the customer, yeah. to the influencer. 
to the influence yeah. and don't try yeah. to lock them in. I guess that's the thing for the contract itself. Yeah, that didn't work. Um, like I said, always know uh, if you're in a niche market, you know, make sure that influencer is in that niche market. And if it's not, if it's big, broad, then, you know, pick someone that's engaging in the comments, you know, in the likes and replying to most of their followers, you could say, like a good engagement. Yeah, it was pretty, uh, it was awesome. It was perfect. I, I love it. I don't even go back to edit anything. Uh, so it's really, really good. I, I love it. So once you log in, especially the influencer, they love that part where they could actually log in to see their sales. I think that's the biggest, um, you know, turn on for somebody that's an influencer. They absolutely love it because they're like, okay, cool. I sold this much. That's good. I'm gonna keep pushing it, keep selling it. So that's one of the biggest things that I seen from like the, the shout out. Uh, app that you guys got and it perfect it links up perfect to Shopify I, I strongly recommend it for anybody and everybody yes I strongly recommend it for somebody to um, get that affiliated program and influencer program